and welcome to a new episode of the TZ TV show. In this episode, I want to talk to you about handmade shop predictions for 2019. Let's dive in. Now, before we get into the depth of the topic, I just want to do a little disclaimer or a warning here. This is not a video that I want you to watch thinking, I need to implement everything Deb is about to talk about. This is the end of the month of December 2018 when I'm recording this video. And this is more of a video to sort of inspire you, give you ideas, and for us to talk about what's going on in the world of marketing so that you can decide to pick up something from the list or focus on something a bit more next year. But by no means this is a must do list of things you want you need to do because if you do that you're going to feel instantly overwhelmed which we don't want to happen and also remember that you need to focus on what's important for the stage of business that you are in so if you're just getting started with your handmade shop you need to set up a solid foundation first figure out your pricing work on your branding work on your product photography all of that good stuff so the stuff i'm going to talk about today is maybe for more advanced seller or something that you can listen to out of curiosity. Okay, let's go. Number one is videos and live videos. This was already the case in 2018 where really videos started to become more and more important, but it's going to get even more important in 2019. So this could be, um, you know, people just watch more videos and they like to connect, look at you looking at me through a video. Isn't that a little bit meta? So anyway, people love to watch videos because it helps them connect with the person that's making the video, with the brand, with the product that you're trying to sell. So it could be video about your products, it could be something uh, that you put in your about section about yourself, your brand or your products, but also on social media. And that's where live videos come in. Live stories on Instagram are becoming very, very big. And I'm sure people spend much more time now watching at Instagram stories that they do scrolling their feeds. So it's important you, you maybe think about starting to use videos and live videos for your shop. This might mean behind the scenes tour so that you can show a little bit of authenticity about what's happening when you're working on your products. It could be a studio tour. It could be watch me make this product and you could then speed that video up so that it looks like a short video when really it took you a little bit longer to make the product. People love to see that. It could be FAQs about your product. It could be a video of you receiving your supplies or picking your supplies. Uh, you could use polls in your videos as well. There's plenty of things that you can, you can do. Really get creative here, but video, very important. If you can get onto it, if you feel excited about it, dive in because 2019 is waiting for you with open arms. Number two is user generated content, which is a very fancy marketing word, which really just means making sure that you're creating a community of people around your brand and product that really support your shop and that will talk about your shop to other people. Authenticity, communities and user generated content are becoming very, very important. They were always very important, but it's becoming bigger because of this thing called influencer marketing. It appears that in today's world, we love to follow someone. And when these people make recommendation, we tend to think, okay, you know what? If this person likes this product, I must try this product or I should buy this because she says it looks cute or he said it looks cute. So, you know, that's very simplifying the topic and influencer marketing is only a part of user generated content. But the idea here is to really try to create a community of people that are um, going to follow your brand and reshare them, you know, wearing products that you made or using products that you made. And you can reshare those images, you can reshare those mentions so that people can see through your marketing that it's not just you saying, hey, my products are awesome, but that other people think that way. It's important because it's instant trust and it's also instant fear of missing out when we see that. And so it's very, very effective in today's marketing world. And that's definitely not about to go away in 2019. Number three is social shopping. And what is social shopping? It's shopping from your mobile phone. That means that 
we need to be way past having a website or a shop that's mobile responsive, meaning that it looks nice on desktop, but it also looks beautiful on a smaller screen. We should be way past this point in 2019 and we should actually start thinking about ways we can make customers shop our items while they're doing what we all do when we're on our phone, which is going on social media. So social shopping is really shopping products via social networks. So Instagram and Pinterest are the two I'm mostly referring to, although on Facebook it exists as well, which you can have a shop on Facebook. But Instagram has recently uh, released this option of being able to tag your product in your feed, and that's working really well. And Pinterest is also a great platform to actually sell your product on. You can take people back to your shop or depending on which country you live in because Pinterest doesn't have this, I believe, in every uh, country yet, but you can also have people check out directly on the platform. So I would really encourage you if you're not doing these things and if you are at a stage in your business where you think you're ready to dive into those strategies to look into social shopping because it is growing really quickly. Number four, and I know I'm not going to make many friends with this one, is free or fast shipping. Now, before you get all mad at me, I think we all agree that Amazon has created a world where people expect free next day delivery on anything they buy online. And so the more you can do to make shipping fast and free for your products, the better. Now that I've said that, I am absolutely not saying that you must offer free shipping, that you must offer free shipping on all of your products everywhere in the world, not at all. I know that for some shops, actually for most of you guys, it's going to be borderline impossible to do that and you might need to redefine what free shipping or fast shipping means. It could be only locally, it could be only above a certain amount, there's different, uh, you know, rules that you can put in place to protect your profit margins. But my point here is more try to play a little bit with it and to see how you can reduce shipping on the customer's end. The customer is always going to pay for it. It's just going to be included in the price. But as much as you can, try to play with those strategies because that is what people are used to and that does affect your conversion rate quite strongly. It also is a bonus for you guys selling on Etsy because it is a new criteria in the Etsy algorithm, which I have done a video about and you can find it just below in the in the notes just be below this video if you want to watch this after this video so here i said it i'm not saying you should have free and fast shipping on everything but trying to think about what you can do to reduce the perceived shipping fee on your customer's end lastly we need to talk about seo search engine optimization and my main message to you here for the year to come and all of the years to come is don't try to cheat the system and by that, I mean, don't try to cheat the algorithm and instead focus on what your customers want. Gone are the days where you could cheat search engine algorithm by keyword stuffing your titles and your tags and, you know, linking to your website everywhere and other black magic SEO tricks. Search engines these days, be it Google, of course, but also Etsy are very smart and they do show different results to each visitor. This means that you can't try to rank number one anymore simply because ranking isn't even really a thing anymore. If I type in blue socks on Etsy and you type in blue socks on Etsy, we're going to be served completely different results based on what Etsy has seen us browse around and shop around on the platform. They're going to show us what they think is relevant to us. And these algorithms are very well developed and really smart and trying to cheat them by, you know, using tricks that you've heard of on some sort of weird forum somewhere is not really going to move the needle forward. So when you think about SEO, I'd really like to encourage you for the year to come. And as I was saying, I think just generally in the future, just focus on your customer. What a search engine is trying to do is get the best result to a visitor. When someone search for a query or a keyword, the role of a search engine is to give that person what they are looking for. So make that job easier for them by describing your products currently and not trying to add some trick words in there because that's not going to work. That means that you are going to need to use more long tail keywords that you probably had in the past 
and long tail keywords. Again, there's a video about Etsy SEO that I'll link below this video. If you don't know what that is, I really recommend you go and watch that video. But long tail keywords have less search volume, but higher quality. That means more clicks and that means more sales. And so that's really where I'd say you should be focusing on next year. All right, guys, I hope this gave you a few ideas and things to think about. As I was saying, this is not a must do list or, you know, oh, you will fail in 2019. This was more of a relaxed video. It's the end of the year. I know you're all very busy with Christmas approaching dangerously quickly. It's next week. And so I just wanted to uh, talk about what's out there in the world of marketing. Let me know what you thought below the video. I'm always happy to read and reply to all of your comments. And if you want more free resources you are welcome to go and check out my free resource library for makers and handmade business owners I'll put a link just below the video it's full of guides and checklists and resources to help you grow your handmade shop and I will see you soon bye bye bye